Popular St. Louis calendar, A Year in the City, is now a coffee table book. And we just so happen to have a coffee table. And Seven Years in the City is out right now, and it's based on the illustrated calendar. So we have the coffee table, we have the book, and we have the author and the illustrator. Hi. Illustrator, Janet Mum, she's here. Great to have you here. Hi, thank you for having me. So Seven Years in the City is brand new, but uh, some of our viewers are probably already familiar with the pictures because you've been using them in the calendars, right? That's right. Okay. I did the calendar for seven years beginning in 2018 and it looked like this. Mm -hmm. um, it was designed to trim off at the bottom so you wound up with an 11 by 14 print oh, every nice. single month. For, I love that. Yeah, thank you. That's a great and, idea. Right, and so a lot of your viewers may actually have some of these images mm -hmm. hanging up in their home. But it's nice to have them all in one right. convenient and with, package. Exactly. And so with the book, I'm encouraging people to get out and go to these places. So now it becomes sort of an experiential thing. Yeah. Now, for those that are watching at home who already have the calendar, what does seven years in the city have that maybe folks that have the calendar wouldn't have, other than it, the other six years of pictures? Well, that, that too. Yeah. Um, it has stories. Ah. So each page ha or each image is on its own page. Opposite that page, there's a story about the calendar or about mm -hmm. the, the site. Mm -hmm. um, and some of those are stories that customers told me. Mm -hmm. Some of them are um, from the history books. Mm -hmm. Some of them are from my own memories. So. And I'll bet that this compounds as you go through time. The more stories you share, the more you get. People start looking you up to try and tell you these Absolutely. stories. And that's really what I had hoped for the book. Yeah. I mean, that's sort of the point of it. It's to tell people, go out, have the best day of your life, have a staycation come back and tell about it. Some of these places meet, now I was born and raised here, and I assume you were. Actually, I was born and raised in Omaha. Oh, okay. Yeah, but you but came here at a young age. I came here. You had to, because you're still young. It, well, thank nice. you. But <laughs> no, but I've been here most of my life. I was born and raised here right. and went away and came back. And there's so many of these places that mean so much and hold so much uh, m m you know, memory for me, yes. memory, so many memories for me with my parents and growing yes. up and, and all that kind of stuff. It's great to have it all in one book. Yes. Like that. But you'll never have it all, so you can keep writing more. Oh, books. absolutely. Well, how, maybe. <laughs> how, can, how can people find it? Um, there are a few ways. So as of this week, we are um, at uh, St. Louis Public Library mm -hmm. in every single branch. Okay. And I was able to do that because I was given a nice grant from the Regional Arts Commission. Oh, terrific. And, um, and I'm also in a number of gift shops and um, bookstores around the St. Louis mm -hmm. metro area. And you can also buy it at my website, which is a year in the city.com. A year in the city.com. Janet, thank you so much. Thank Great you. job. Congratulations. Thank you. Over to you guys. Okay. All right. Oh, wait. wait. I wanted to tell because oh, we do oh, have a whole page, oh, oh, I guess. Oh. So you can order the coffee table <laughs> book and the calendar. Like Janet said, a year in the city.com is where you want to go. And we're also going to post this segment on our website following the show at firstalert4.com slash mystl live. Okay, sorry. Okay. That's okay.